What's up, fellas? I have a couple quick yabos. And I'm going to start my series finally on uh, bourbon reviews for the fall. Smoking one of my own pipes. I made this back in uh, around the 4th of July. Put a red and blue acrylic band on there with a uh, silver and black band. I was going to sell this one and I decided to keep it for myself. Just want to thank those that uh, helped spread the word about the contest I had. Shadrach. Hurry up, open these real fast. I'm going to start some tobacco reviews too. I wasn't going to do any yabos, but uh, I got these all today in the mail, so I figure I'd hurry up and show them real fast. Oh, yeah. Half a pound of uh, Stokeby's Luxury Bullseye Flake. Oh, yeah. Two hundred grams of uh, Peter Heinrich's Dark Strong Flake. Another two hundred grams of Dark Strong Flake. You can tell I love that stuff. Some more GLP's Gaslight. Some more Corneo and Deal Cajun Cake. Red Rat Trees, Black Maori, and Rat Trees Red Rappery. That's that one. The one I'm uh, really excited about is the one I'm going to start with some Yabos. I mean, some uh, reviews on bourbon. I've been waiting to get it in. I basically got all the Peter Heinrichs blends. This one uh, was number 30. Uh, I don't have all the descriptions. This was a Virginia Curly Cut Perique Syrian Latakia full flavor. This one was the uh, Number 169, full-bodied English broad-cut Virginia Oriental and Syrian Latakia. They all sound really good. I'm a really big fan of the Dark Strong. This one is Peter Heinrich's number 14. This was the Danish Cavendish Virginia Kentucky Burley Soft Taste Pleasant Aroma. And this one was... The Golden Slice. This was uh, the Gold Brown Piedmont and Old Belt Virginia Long Cut Flake Naturally Sweet Bouquet. The only one I didn't get that I wanted was, uh, I believe it was number 39. They were out of stock on that one, and that's one I really wanted to try bad, so I'm gonna, it's on back order. So I got all the other ones. And I also got a half a pound of, uh, Still could be proper English. And, of course, some more H.H. Latakia Flake. I mix that with Dark Strong, if you didn't already know. And they sent me a calendar, and they sent me a free gift. This was a uh, the knife they were giving away. I believe if you spent over $100, you got a free knife. What the hell? Forgot how the hell to open a damn thing. Rockwell. Pretty cool. So, get settled up here and I'll start my review. Alright, last one. This was the one I was really excited and looking forward to. If you can't tell what it is. That's upside down, of course. No, I was up right the first time. <laughs> 
Anyway, it required adult signature. I've, uh, what I try to do is uh, every fall get so many bourbons that I can find. I like the hard, rare, hard to find bourbons, the high collectible ones. And uh, I have a lot of all the other ones mainly. And it's sad, but you can't get most of them that I have in stock anymore. It's just, if you can get them, you're looking at a, a bottle that I may have paid, say, $150, $200 for now. If you can find it, they want $1,500 for it. Yeah. It's crazy, crazy ridiculous. But I was really excited about these. These are... Uh, 20 year old bourbons and I promise you they will be highly collectible once people get the word out and once people know about them but to find a 20 year bourbon nowadays is really rare camera isn't focusing but uh, anyway I said I was real happy to get my hands on these. Oh yeah. I'll do reviews on all these. Orphan barrel. 20 year old aged bourbon. Retric. The, uh, this is 90 proof. I'll do a full review on that one. And this is the other one. This was also 20 years. I should have had all this done before I... This one's Barter House. 20-year-old orphan barrel. Still in company. This one is also 90 proof. So, to be able to get these anymore, stuff like this. Yeah, you can get scotches 20-some 20, 20 years old. But to get bourbons, and bourbons are really taken off. Bourbons are super, super highly collectible now. They've really taken off the last few years. They're getting really popular. There's a... Uh, Distilleries, little small batch places, starting out everywhere. So, uh, if you see these in your hometown, I highly suggest, if you like bourbons, to get your hands on these before they're gone, because they will be gone. And I'm going to do my first review here in a few minutes.